ladies welcome back to my channel it's me shabri i'm coming to you all with a very quick makeup look featuring all drugstore products so all the items that i use on my face can be found at your local drugstore or they can be purchased online i'll actually leave those links in my description box for the products that aren't sold at your drugstore but you can purchase them online and yeah so pretty much i did just a really quick makeup look featuring no eyeshadow so it's mainly focusing on my skin and my brows i also wanted to focus on like adding a nice glow to my skin using drugstore products. So in the video you'll see exactly what I use to get like a healthy glow to the high points of my cheek, um, my nose, and then basically just anywhere that I would highlight um, normally. If you are interested in seeing that, definitely stay tuned to my video. If you want to keep up with me, definitely follow me on all of my social sites. I'll plug those in somewhere in the video and then the links will also be in my description box. And so until the next video, I'll see you all later. So ladies, I did my eyebrows off camera. If you do want a brow tutorial, just thumbs up or let me know below in the comment section. But I'm going in now with my eyelashes. I'm using the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. And I'm just adding those with a pair of tweezers here. Next, I'm going in to prime my face. I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Primer. As you know, this primer leaves me with like a um, great undertone to it. I believe this is from the SPF. So be very careful if you do use this primer. You want to make sure you don't use too much. That way you won't have like a great undertone once you apply your foundation. Next, what I'm using to add a glow to my skin is the NYX Liquid Illuminator. I really, really, really like this product. This is maybe like my fourth time using it. And when I do use it, it just adds like a healthy glow to my skin even before I add like my um, powder highlight. So I really like this. I'm also going with my favorite foundation from the drugstore. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm in the shade 360 um, in this. I really like this foundation for it to be from the drugstore. It really has like a high-end finish and it lasts for a pretty long time. I believe for quite a few hours. So I really, really, really like this foundation. And I'm just making sure to blend that onto my face with a dome shape, like a dense dome brush. And then also what I do is just make sure I'm taking that down my chin, my jawline. You definitely want to make sure your foundation is blended out as much as possible. So once I've blended my foundation out um, as much as I can, I actually go back in with the clean kabuki type of brush and just do some more blending just to get like an airbrush look. And again, I want to make sure my foundation is as blended as possible. After this, I'm going to go in and highlight and conceal. I'm using now just the Fawn Concealer by LA Girl Pro. And I'm just putting that under my eyes, my chin, down the bridge of my nose, and on the center of my forehead. And I'm going to go in with a damp a clean damp beauty blender just to blend all of that out with my beauty blender I'm going in with just padding or bouncing motions and I'm just blending this out as much as possible um, after this like after I blend it out with the beauty blender I do go back in with my foundation brush I don't add any extra foundation to the brush but I like to do this because it just helps to blend everything out so I won't have like lines of demarcation and everything or all the colors just blend in smoothly So what I'm going to do next is just go in and set everything. I'm using a combination of the Sasha Buttercup and then the Ben Nye Topaz Powder. It just gives me the um, best color match for my skin. And I'm just going to place this anywhere that I did at that concealer to make sure that it stays in place all day and it's not slipping and sliding. I'm going to go in and contour slash bronze my face. Um, more so bronze, not contouring, but I'm using the CoverGirl. Um, ebony bronzer just to bronze the hollows of my cheek and then along my forehead and then also just around my chin I really like this bronzer as well so far this is like the best bronzer I've ever used even though it is just from the drugstore to me it beats a lot of the um, higher-end bronzers so after I bronze my face, I'm going to go in and clean up my bronzer slash contour, just adding a little bit more of that product with my beauty blender and basically just etching out at the bottom of my contour line so my face can look as snatched and chiseled as possible. After this, I'm going to go in and brush off all of that excess powder. I'm just using a flat top powder brush just to brush that off. Another trick that I use if my face still looks a little hot or a little light and it seems like it can be blended more, I'll add some more of my face powder and just go in and blend everything out. And then next to highlight, I'm using the Ruby Kisses All Over Glow Highlight. And I'm just adding that to the high points of my cheek and then to the um, tip of my nose. I'm adding this with a stippling brush from e.l.f. I really like this stippling brush to add my highlight 
um, yeah it just goes on really nice and it doesn't look like it's just there um, after this I'm going to add some blush I'm using the elf blush kit in the shade dark with the blush brush from real techniques and I'm just adding that to add some type of color back to my skin as well um, after this I'm going to go in and just blend all of that together again so it just looks as blended as possible and so I'm gonna go in again with the Ruby Kisses highlight and add it to the center of my eyes and then set my face with the next setting spray I'm going in next with my lipstick I'm using the Kate matte lipstick by Rimmel I believe in the shade 14 and then I started to actually line my lips with the NYX liner in a nude shade I realized that was still a little too light so I went back in with a plum color um, in the NYX liner just to line my lips as well so it can be more suitable for my skin tone so that's what I'm doing here now and so yeah ladies that's pretty much it this is the finished product if you like these type of videos definitely give this video a thumbs up and if you have any questions leave them below in the description box and until then i'll see you all in my next video bye ladies